Do you struggle with editing on your wildlife images? Well, today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to incorporate DxO Pure Raw and Luminar Neo to make your wildlife images pop. So stay tuned. Okay, so as I promised, we're going to go ahead and jump on over to Neo's where we're going to start for our wildlife edit. And then from there, I'm going to take you into DxO Pure Raw. So let's go ahead and jump on over to Neo and we find our little raccoon that we want to edit. And from there, we right click on the raccoon, hit show in finder, and that takes us over to the finder where it's located. And from there, you right click, and I want to open it with DxO Pure Raw 3. And then we're going to process it. Um, but let me show you something here real quick. So the, the DxO, it takes your camera profile and the lens profile, or downloads the profiles uh, to the modulars so that it doesn't have to keep downloading it every time you use it. But So this has already got my modulars in there for my cameras and lenses. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here to process. And we're going to use Deep Prime and Lens Softness. I'm just going to leave it at standard. Um, all these other ones, I just leave, I leave pretty much everything at standard. The only thing I change is TIFF and I do 16-bit just so that I have the best file to work with. And then from there, um, I just wanted to put it back in the original folder where the other one was. And I want it to send it to Luminar Neo so we can do our edit. So now we're going to go ahead and hit start process, and there it goes. Lickety split, and then we'll hit a preview so you guys can see what it looked like before and after. Alright, let's take a look at the results. We'll go full screen so you guys back there at home can see a little better. So there is the before the after. So, and jump back over here into Neo, and let's go on over here and edit this little guy. So now we'll head on over to edit, and even though it is a already, already processed image, we still need to go into develop and start our editing here. So I'll take the highlights down just a little. Oh, and you can hit your J key on your keyboard and it will bring up your extremes, um, your whites and your blacks. I'll take the highlights down just a little bit and we'll open up those shadows to reveal that raccoon. Might even bump the exposure a little bit. It was taken really late at night in the swamps of Cotto Lake. So the ISO on this image was actually pretty high. Let's take a look and see what the ISO was. Yeah, so ISO 6400 is what that image was taken at. Go back to the edit. Isn't he a cute little guy? You can see the ticks he's got on him. He was just rummaging around in the swamps. So needless to say, we got a little distracted from our landscape. So if you want to join me next year on my Cotto Lake workshop, there'll be a link below and you can sign up for the workshop. I just made, I just created another week because the first week is already filled up. So I'll be there two weeks this year. Okay. Go ahead and hex 
accent this little guy. Alright, so here's what we've done so far. We've taken it from that to that. Not too bad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mask him off. Do a little structure down here. My subject. Just really brings out the, the texture in his fur and in his tree trunk. Okay, now I'm gonna jump back into the develop tool. Notice it's all went back to zero again. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple masks here to a lineal mask here and try to darken up some of the background here a little bit. Adjustments and just just deepen those shadows back in there. That should work. That worked out pretty good. Maybe there we go. We'll go back and do a, another lineal on this side. See how that just really makes him pop out there? All right, and probably one last thing I'm gonna do to him. I'm gonna do a little dodge and burning. I'm going to zoom in on his little eyeballs, and I'm going to lighten up this area right through here a little bit. And if I go too heavy, I'll go back and I'll erase part of it. And I just want to open up his little mask here. Maybe even the insides of his ears here a little bit. There we go. Let's see how that looks. So now I'm going to go back to erase and I'm going to reduce the strength. Erase this little area right here. There we go. It's really hard because their little eyes are just about as dark as coal. Okay, now we'll go down and probably go into color. And I'm going to, oh, I guess we can try Mask AI. It usually doesn't work on animals for me. But we'll give it a try. Let's go natural ground. Water. And flora. Okay, so that did not work out so well. So we'll do it the old fashioned way which fortunately it doesn't take. Ah, darn it. There we go. All right, we'll start over. Here we go. So the problem with doing these things live is you guys see my errors, but I'm sure everybody makes them while doing edits. So the reason I'm gonna mask him out is because I don't want to adjust the colors of my little raccoon and my piece of wood there. So now I'm going to go back to masking. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go invert. So now everything but him is going to get adjusted with colors. I'm going to increase the saturation a little bit. Go down here 
And we're gonna make the oranges, oranger. We're gonna make the reds, mm, a little orangey. The yellow, we're gonna go yellow. The green, greens are all right. And that's about all the colors that are in this image. So now we'll come over here and we'll increase the saturation just a little bit. And then the luminous will brighten up the colors. Let's play with the blur tool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and mask. I'll mask him, and then we'll invert the mask. Oop! I forgot to invert the mask. There we go. Invert. Show. All right. Go back to the brush. We're going to have to erase a little bit, but we're going to reduce the strength, reduce the size, and we're just going to kind of come along here, and just hit the edges, because we don't want it to blur him. Alright, so let's see how it does. Looks like we need to paint just a little bit more. Right down through here. There. And then erase. that extreme I would probably just do probably just like that right there so there you have it what do you think leave your comments below all right so I hope you enjoyed that edit today that was probably my favorite moment while I was in Cotto Lake um, the little raccoon that came out of the swamp and Kind of posed on logs and stuff for us it was pretty amazing so if you want to do Cotto lake this year go on over to my website and sign up for it i now have two weeks in Cotto lake because the first week is already booked so head on over there and get your spot before they're all gone if you like that edit don't forget to watch the next one that's right up here <music>